over half a million dollars half a million dollars from a ten thousand dollar investment in 2010 you have over half a million dollars wow hey what's up you two i'm zeke and welcome to the dream green show this episode is brought to you by weeble sign up now by clicking the link down in the description deposit 100 dollars and receive two free stocks valued up to fourteen hundred dollars i opened up two stocks last week and I got $30 each from each of the two stocks. So sign up now for your opportunity to win $1,400. But now, in this episode, I'm gonna be comparing some fast food restaurants. I'm gonna be comparing McDonald's. Ooh, Domino's Pizza. Ooh, Chipotle. Yes, sir. All right, so I'm gonna be comparing three different fast food restaurants. Two of them have dividends, one of them don't. The last time we compared a company that did not have dividends, it ended up winning by a landslide. So let's see if it makes it any difference in the fast food industry. So hopefully this video can help you on your decision process on which company to invest in. Remember, there are many factors out there on deciding which company to invest in, not just the past statistics or any numbers that's on the internet. You have to do your own research, but this is just a little research that I have done myself to help you guys out. Before we dive into the statistics, make sure that you guys leave a thumbs up on this video. Just, it's just a thumb. You go and click it. It really helps out this channel a lot more than you can imagine. And it takes maybe just a half second out of your day. But enough talking. Let's go ahead and get straight into the video. Welcome back YouTube. We're gonna be comparing three different fast food restaurants. The first one up is McDonald's, then we have Domino's Pizza, and then we have Chipotle. McDonald's is the first one up, ticker symbol MCD. The price per share of McDonald's at the recording of this video is $211.57. They have grown their dividends over the last 43 years, almost making them dividend kings. They are dividend aristocrats. A dividend aristocrats is a company that has been inside the S&P 500 and increased their dividend payments over the last 25 years. A dividend king has increased their dividends for the last 50 years. So McDonald's is very close to increasing their dividends for the next couple of years in order to become dividend kings. So this 43 number is very important when it comes to the dependability of a company and their dividends. McDonald pays out quarterly. That means you get paid out every three months from McDonald's and dividends, and they have a dividend yield of 2.38%, which pays out $1.25 every three months. So you'll receive a payment of $1.25 every quarter from McDonald's. The next one up is Domino's Pizza, ticker symbol DPZ. They're at a whopping price of $419.70. Wow. All right. They increased their dividends over the last seven years, so nowhere near as close as McDonald's. They also pay out quarterly, that means every three months, four times a year, and they have a dividend yield of 0.75%, so not even a full percent compared to McDonald's. And they pay out 78 cents per share every quarter, so every three months you'll receive 78 cents from Domino's Pizza. So that's a big difference in between Domino's Pizza and McDonald's. And the last one is even a bigger difference because it's Chipotle, ticker symbol CMG. Yes, Chipotle, Chipotle Mason Grill, the place you walk in, you ask for some chicken, they give you a little bitty scoop, be like, can I get some more chicken? And they charge you extra $5. That's why, because that price per share is $1,253.24 at the recording of this video. And Chipotle do not even pay dividends. The reason I picked Chipotle was because the last time I picked a stock that did not pay dividends, and it ended up outperforming the other two stocks that did pay dividends. So we're gonna check this out one more time in the food industry to see if it makes any difference at all. All right, so I shouldn't have to explain what McDonald's is and what they do. I mean, that's probably the most popular fast food restaurant in the entire world. I think you can't even walk a block or two in New York without seeing a McDonald's on every single corner. So with that being said, I'm not going to explain what McDonald's is. I'm just going to get into their revenue. Their revenue from 2019 December 
was $21 billion. That's pretty, that's pretty impressive. Let's take a look at Domino's Pizza. Domino's Pizza brought in $3.62 billion. So that's a big difference in between McDonald's $21 billion and Domino's Pizza $3.6 billion. And Chipotle brought in $5.59 billion December 2019. So that is the revenue from these three different fast food chains. Let's go ahead and back test these three companies to see which one would have performed the best over the last decade. All right, here we are on the portfolio visualizer. We're gonna back test these companies. Let's do it from 2010 to the current day, 2020. So the last 10 years, the last decade. Include year to date. All right, $10,000 for the initial investment. We're gonna say none. Rebalance, no rebalancing. Daily income, yes. And we're gonna reinvest our dividends. That's the whole point of this video. The first one up is McDonald's MCD. The next one is Domino's Pizza. And the last one is Chipotle. We're gonna put 100% allocation to McDonald's. Portfolio two is gonna be Domino's Pizza. And portfolio three is gonna be Chipotle. Let's rename these portfolios to make it a little easier. McDonald's is portfolio number one. Domino's Pizza is portfolio number two, and portfolio three, of course, is Chipotle. So when I hit this analyze portfolio button, this is us investing $10,000 into each of these companies back in 2010 to see how it would have performed and grown our money over the last 10 years to 2020, which company would have performed the best over the last 10 years. So let's analyze these portfolios. Now, before I scroll down, I don't know the results, so we're all checking this out together. And, oh, wow, whoa, ho. Oh, look at Domino's Pizza. Let's not get to Domino's Pizza yet. All right, so McDonald's, all right. If you invested $10,000 back in 2010, you would have $42,455. Not bad, that is actually amazing. And you also got paid dividends from McDonald's that had the highest dividend. We're gonna check that out in a second. But look at Domino's Pizza. Domino's Pizza? If you invested $10,000 in Domino's Pizza in 2010, you will now have over half a million dollars half a million dollars from a $10,000 investment in 2010. You have over a half a million dollars. Wow. Wow. All right. So $540,000 you will have from Domino's Pizza if you invested in 2010. Chipotle, you'll have $131,000 if you invested $10,000 back in 2010. Now, if you look at the charts, it shows the ups and downs, ups and downs. Um, from 2010 to 2020, McDonald's didn't even compete with Domino's Pizza. McDonald's just stayed at a steady incline. You made money, but it stayed well below Domino's Pizza. Um, Chipotle had a good run with Domino's Pizza for a while, and then it took a little decline all the way back in 2017, ended up actually dropping below McDonald's. But it ended up picking up from 2017 all the way to 2020 to surpass McDonald's in the fast food industry for profit if you invested $10,000. Now, Domino's Pizza, it, it just, it's, it's really just been smooth. No major dips like right here with Chipotle. It's just been really smooth incline over the last 10 years all the way up to 2020 to where you have over half a million dollars. All right. Now let's scroll down to the dividend payments. All right, now remember, Chipotle do not pay dividends. So the only ones that show up is the blue, which is McDonald's. Any red is just Domino's Pizza. Back in 2012, it looks like Domino's Pizza had cut their dividends and they have been growing them ever since. But, but if we're looking at 2019, although McDonald's have the higher dividend yield, just because Domino's Pizza has outperformed McDonald's by so much, you are now getting more with a lower yield in dividends from Domino's Pizza because you made so much money from Domino's Pizza. So in 2019, you receive um, $1,000 in dividends from your $10,000 investment. And with Domino's Pizza, you'll receive $3,600 every single year. 
from your $10,000 investment back in 2010. Now, know what you guys said. What if you didn't have $10,000 back in 2010? What if you bought the dip? Well, let's go ahead back into the charts and change up the settings a little bit to see what happens if we reinvest and buy the dip. All right, so let's say back in 2010, we only have $1,000 to invest back in 2010, right? Cash flow, we're gonna change it. If you guys follow me and subscribe to my channel, you will know that I invest $200 every single week into the stock market, so that's $800 every single month. So let's change this to $800 from annually to monthly. So there we go. Now, if I hit this analyze button, this is us investing just $1,000 back in 2010, but $200 every single week or $800 every single month into these three companies to see how much money we would have made over the last 10 years, over the last decade. I'm really surprised to see these numbers. Analyze portfolio. All right, so there we go with consistent investing. You will have turned $1,000 plus reinvesting every single week into the stock market to $237,000. With Domino's Pizza, you will almost be a millionaire. So right now, I invest what I'm saying in, these, in this portfolio. If I could find a company over the next 10 years with my investing style of $200 a week to where I'll be a millionaire in the next 10 years, I need to find my Domino's Pizza, okay? at $959,000 and then Chipotle with $358,000. All right, so if we're looking at the worst year, the worst year McDonald's had was down 9%, so they ended up losing 9% that year. The worst year Domino's Pizza had was up 19%. That's the worst year they had was up 19%. Diamond in the rough, diamond in the rough. In the worst year Chipotle had was down almost 30%. The best year McDonald's had was up 50%, well, 45%. The best year Domino's Pizza had was up 112%. And the best year Chipotle had was up 141%. So Chipotle had an amazing year one year, all right? But if you're looking at the charts again, now with reinvesting $200 every week, Chipotle was well below McDonald's for a very, very long time, a couple of years. And just recently, over the last month or so, just surpassed McDonald's. Just passed McDonald's right there. So with reinvesting dividends over the last, I mean, with reinvesting weekly or monthly over the last 10 years, Chipotle would have not been a better buy than McDonald's until the last month or so where it's separated right here. But yes, does this determine on which one you should invest in? No, because Domino's Pizza could be overvalued right now and too high. And since McDonald's is a little low, it could have the opportunity to spike in the future. But hey, numbers don't lie, but you do have to look at what companies are planning to do in the future. All right, YouTube, so what am I planning to do? I might wait until Domino's Pizza pull back a little bit, but, but with their worst year being up 19%, are they gonna pull back? The only thing I can hope for, which is which is bad by the way, which is very bad by the way, is if some bad news come out on Domino's and then they'll drop a couple of percent. I go in while it's down, buy a couple of shares and then just, just let it ride back up. I hope no bad news come out for any company, but, but if it does happen, I'm gonna give me some dominoes. <laughs> but yeah, guys, that's all for the video this week. If you like this video, make sure that you leave a thumbs up. It really helps out this channel more than you can even imagine. When I say that, I really mean it. Like, it really, really, really helps out this channel more than you just hitting the button. It's like, I'm gonna hit the thumbs up. But no, that really helps out this channel, like for real, for real. But other than that, make sure that you guys go down in the comment section and let me know which company which you invest into that we talked about today. While you're down there, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future videos. But other than that, I'm Zeke, bringing you the Dream Green Show, and I'm out. Peace. And hit that subscribe button right there. Yeah, hit that subscribe button.